Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? And Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you that you have followed me in a new age. When the Son of Man is seated at, on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the, twi the tribes, the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sister or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul's letter to the uh, Philippians, I think, uh, captures the, the feast today of St. Clair. Uh, and um, I, I just never cease to be amazed by uh, his sense of revelation. Uh, and he's talking about Jesus and the resurrection. So he says, it's not that I have already taken hold of it, Jesus and the resurrection completely, or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Jesus Christ. Wow. That he had truly given his life completely to Jesus, and Jesus had truly embraced him completely, and he knew it. I mean, that's really just quite amazing. And in many, in many ways, that's the example St. Clair gave us, that she left riches and wealth, as did St. Francis of Assisi. Both of them gave themselves to Christ completely, completely. And as they did that, Jesus gave himself to them completely. Obviously, it changed their lives. And obviously, it enabled them to experience Jesus in their lives, really in a very special way. Sometimes powerfully, sometimes simply. So part of the invitation, I think, for us is to take the heart, the words of St. Paul, that we are, we are invited to give ourselves to Christ completely, and that we trust and have hope that he has taken possession of us completely. With the, in that spirit, we approach the altar to receive his body and blood. And that's the moment of complete oneness in Christ. <laughs>